Hello guys. This is a general love reading for you guys for the upcoming week. For my Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. What is going on with Aquarius? What do they need to know for the upcoming week? Aquarius. Queen of Cups. A lot of you are feeling happy and, and joyous and, and kind of emotional right now. I feel like you're up. And um, I feel like you're kind of looking back in the distance from where you come from, where things were not playing out so well. And it's like, mm, I'm toasting to goodbye to you bad times. <laughs> this is what I'm feeling. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy here. Less challenging, my Aquarius friends. Two of Swords. Yeah, to stay where you are because I feel like before this is Libra energy and that is um, I don't know why I was thinking about Aries because I was getting ready to say that's your opposite sign but it's not but this is for you to decide from here on out what makes you happy what is it that you want to do uh, do not stay stuck in a rut because I feel like a lot of you guys were in a rut before and I see you looking back at that and saying no more I'm taking control of the reins. I'm taking control of my life. Okay? To stay off the fence. Alright guys? Either you're going to do it or you're not. And that is like what's challenging you from here on out. Okay? For this week. Cards keep flipping over for you. What is this? I see a king of swords taking control. I see the page of wands being very interested. Uh, showing initiative pushing on and I think you're pushing past all of these freaking swords that you felt before just kind of trapped and beat down and and like stuck I think you're pushing past that here with the page of wands and you're taking control you're taking control over what it is that you want. People are actually looking up to you. When you're sure about yourself, that confidence exudes. And I think that is where you are right now. I, I feel you being very emotional though. Okay. Let's see. Underlying issue here for Aquarius. Six of Swords. Hmm. I think a lot of times you guys get stuck. Stuck on shit that happened before. And it's hard for you to kind of let that go. So just try to remain decisive. Okay. Try not to stay in your head. Because I get a lot of you can get in your head and you get trapped there. To keep pushing through. Let bygones be bygones. Whatever happened in the past is in the past. Being able to let things go and move on. Regardless of how it bothered you before or how it affected you before. Um, how hurt you were by it. Is being able to let things go and move on. That's been the issue. Okay. Right now you're in a good spot. <clears throat> Continue to push through things. Think it through, let it go. What was going on in the recent past for Aquarius? Recent past for Aquarius. The magician. You know what to do. The magician is all about action. The magician takes what they feel inside, what they they their int intuition is telling them to do, and they do that shit. And I think you're learning how to self-soothe is what I'm hearing from a lot of you. This card is sticking out to me. I feel like, look at that, yeah, five of cups. That sorrow, that feeling bad, feeling down. You're learning how to self-soothe here. Okay, that Scorpio energy. Scorpio, Gemini energy. Scorpio can get in their feelings. They get bogged down with their feelings because they're so very intuitive and like to keep things to themselves. 
I see you guys working through your own shit, self-soothing, because you're still not like that comfortable just, you know, being vulnerable and sharing yourself. But in learning how to self-soothe, you can rectify that shit and move on. And that is what I see you doing. Just stay in that mode because you do have the tendency to get stuck in your head. Get stuck on something and not able to move past it. Get stuck on something and not able to move past it. But I see you smiling. I see you smiling. I see you feeling better. I see you happy here. Somebody is making you happy. There's something good going on here. Don't overthink it. Okay. <clears throat> this is your energy here. If I didn't tell you already with the Six of Swords. That's Aquarius energy all day long. But that's the issue. It's not being able to move past things. Crowning thoughts for Aquarius. Page of Swords here. You want to know when you're doing this and it's probably because you're you're watching this reading right now it's like do I really do that how will I know when I'm doing that how will I know when I'm overthinking you're overthinking right now <laughs> okay mm -hmm. you want to know when it's time to let something go and if you're actually doing the right thing I see you checking shit out now and you're reflecting on shit. What's coming in for Aquarius? Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius person here. This is also you guys uh, taking initiative to do something. Doing things that make you happy. Feeling more attractive. Uh, feeling more confident. And handling your business. Okay? How is Aquarius viewing this situation? High Priestess using your intuition. Now you have you have the Magician and the High Priestess. You can't get any better than that. You can't. When you can feel that you want something, feel that you want to do something and make that shit happen, that's the power of manifestation. Okay? You're following your heart. I love it. Piscean energy there. What's the influence here for Aquarius? Ace of Wands. Taking the initiative. Taking the reins. Taking back control. Doing something new. Hopes or fears for Aquarius. Two of Pentacles. Your hope is that you can manage everything that things will continue to flow effortlessly and that you can handle this shit and you can continue to make progress because a two of pentacles is all about having a lot of shit on your plate but balancing it all to where shit does not go awry that's your hope you can do this Capricorn energy there. What is the outcome here for Aquarius? Outcome for Aquarius. Ten of Wands. It's going to be a lot of hard work. You got a lot of hard work ahead of you because I think a lot for a lot of you, you've got this tendency to um, get overwhelmed and you don't really let people know when you're overwhelmed. You try to work it out yourself. But you tend to get stuck on things is a thing. If you if you don't get what you want or you, it doesn't go uh, initially like you want it to, you get stuck on it. The thing here is to not get stuck on it. Manifest your situations. You are the freaking magician. Okay? So that is what I have for you guys. This is going to take some hard work in this situation. I definitely feel like there, for some of you guys, it's a same-sex relationship here. Um, but 
for others of you it does not have to be a same-sex relationship but but you guys are you're on the same page with someone here is what I'm getting there's a lot of emotions there's a lot of um, action going on here a lot of physical situations going on here this is gonna take work whatever the situation is for you if it's just you and 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 your um, the things that you're trying to accomplish outside of an intimate relationship is going to take work for you to be decisive and be able to move past things. If this is a situation where there is somebody else involved in it, this is going to take a lot of hard work for you to not overthink things. Okay? So that's what I have for you guys. And this is Sagittarius Energy Bear. I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Namaste.